right, let's cover this button. Um, now I confess these things used to scare me rigid, but then I realized they're actually quite easy to do. So I've got a piece of my linen um, and I'm gonna just draw around. My mum would go nuts at this, me going right in the middle, but I'm gonna draw around, um, just roughly around this button, leaving a about a centimeter all the way around it. And you can see how terribly bad I am at drawing circles. So if you, like me, are terribly bad at drawing circles, we've actually bought a template in the booklet that you can trace um, if you're working our hot water bottle cover. So I've just drawn a circle and I'm gonna cut it out. Okay, so there's the circle um, and there is the button, um, the, the part that you're gonna cover. Now you will see, if I look, if you look closely, that around the edge of this button are little teeth and what we need those little teeth to do is grip onto this um, linen, which thankfully they they really are keen to do. Um, now, I'm really sorry, but the best way that I've found to do it is using the sharp end of a pair of scissors, but health and safety is, is uh, that's probably not a great thing to do. So if you can think of any other less dangerous method, please do <laughs> and implement really that you can kind of get into that area nice and easily. Because what I'm doing is I'm just using the end of the scissors to fold the linen over and grip, get the teeth to grip it. It doesn't have to be too neat to start with because we're gonna go around and neaten it off after. So those teeth, poke those scissors underneath, the teeth will grip it In, eventually. Like I said, don't worry, we'll come round and neaten it up afterwards. Now, if you're like me and don't have a great amount of grip, pincer grip, I just don't. Don't worry, it's still achievable, but please, if you are using scissors like me, do not poke them through your hands. Just a little bit of patience. Um, though Those teeth um, and the linen are an absolutely awesome combo because the linen weave is open enough that the teeth will pass really easily through it. Um, and you can um, quite happily get it all in there. I've probably made this a little too big, big actually, but don't worry, we'll cut it down if we need to. Right, so I've gone all the way around once and you can see that it's all gripped in. Okay, I've got a couple of folds that are maybe not so attractive. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the edge of my scissors to kind of smooth them down um, under the teeth. Just if you go around and smooth down the um, the folds, they sort of disappear, really, which is marvellous, isn't it? So I'm going to keep doing that. Just going round, smoothing, smoothing. Be careful, be careful. Okay, yeah, that looks good. I've got a little, I've got a little mark on mine, but don't worry. That looks pretty good to me. There's a tiny, tiny fold there. Let's just give that another go. Smooth and press. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I might just give that, I'm gonna trim away some of the excess um, with my sharp scissors here. But I would say, don't scrimp when you're cutting it out because you can always cut down like I just have, but you can't add anything in. And that is, um, you know, that is, that is um, a, a word to the wise there. Right, so you can just see the little hasp or the shank coming through the linen. Um, I'm gonna place the bottom part of the button over it and you can see there are two letters stamped in it. So as long as those letters are the right way round, i.e. not that way, then that is the way that you want it. You want it so there's kind of the, the that like little ditch or lip or whatever going down inside and the up, the outer outermost part is upright. So if I hold that like that, you can see what we're gonna do is just snap that in there. It's gonna hold everything in place. You just literally give it a squeeze and it's in. And that is a covered button.